and now I'm just not gonna use that anymore because I'm trying to just get this all out and be over with it so what I'm saying is and I don't know why my, the camera picks up on me and my moist mouth my mouth my, my moist mouth so much but it does it really does it picks up on the smacking and everything but hey it's a part of life and yeah my mouth stay wet from time to time other than how many smokers are out there where you smoke and then you got this really bad dry cotton mouth we need to do something about that like stay liquefied up have the, all the proteins you need all the nutrients you need your fruits and vegetables and lots of water it may help before and after the whole situation but other than that just get hydrated electrolytes more than likely get you some gatorade if you suffer from that cotton mouth after smoking during smoking whatever <clears throat> but for me my vulnerability comes in is that even though i am a child of god and i believe in the anointed ones i still love tobacco i did my research on tobacco um it has a lot to do with ancestral rituals things of that nature it helps with anxiety it helps with anger it helps with so many different things when we're feeling certain type of way it's like a void it's like a, a release gate of all of these different issues no matter if the issues are still there or not it helps us deal more calmly with it or it just takes our mind off of it for a second so we can't forget that there's ways to avoid or avoid things you know that's going through our life that we disapprove of but overall we will have to change the people that we deal with the things that we are doing um in order to finally find another way of peace and happiness and it might limit those bad habits that we might have the only reason why people are so against you know smoking any type of you know gas or whatever is because it messes with our lungs it messes with our cardiovascular system which is how often the blood is pumping through our body and our breathing and things of that nature so there's other way to indulge in these things we just have to figure it out so we can be healthier and live a little longer and don't have to worry about going to the doctor for so many different things um so for me i am big on tobacco a little bit here and there yeah i might socially do other activities um that's how we end up socializing creating a bond i know there's other social groups out there that don't need certain things to um to have a good time or connect on a certain type of level but this is our social norm unfortunately that most of our youth are indulging in things that is killing you on the inside and messing with your brain and your way of thinking even if you think so or not and it's holding you back from a lot of different potentials that you have to offer to the world because we're so busy trying to get that fixed instead of just really fixing ourselves and getting into more activities that do truly make us happier smile if it's reading painting you know doing black backflips whatever it is reading more books you know maybe going skydiving whatever it is there's something out there that will give you that adrenaline rush that you're looking for that will not harm your organs and your systems inside it may harm your outside body because you know you can mess up on a skateboard trick or whatever get a scrape there but it still makes you stronger and it helps you do accurate calculations so that way you don't have to go through that pain anymore so for me um i drink alcohol still a child of god and still have a higher being but sometimes i do feed my ego or i do feed my shadow side because it helps me stay well balanced with so many social norms that we have around us and the whole thing is is that we're out here to be here for the 18 year olds and under but even 18 and above um our focus should not be too much on the 20 year olds and above because they should know but not really I mean, everybody's common sense is not very common. And based on the background, the parenting, the lifestyle <clears throat> that these people have, it's really hard for them to break their curses. And they still need people to look up to that have been where they are at and still probably fighting to overcome that, but still have more going for themselves than the average. So 
again i indulge in alcohol wine here and there i am a huge luster i love taking pictures of my body not for cash not only for cash now because this is the era that we're in when we were doing it in elementary and middle school people weren't thinking oh yeah this is for cash this is because i really like this person or i just like how my body looks um anybody that is a sculptor or you know in the creative field they actually send you to like europe and all these different places and you draw paintings of naked bodies we are walking art pieces we are walking masters you know we're just we're just beautiful creatures in our own different way. So to love your body in every aspect, fully clothed, unclothed, hair natural, hair unnatural, piercings, tattoos, no matter what, we are a walking art piece. And we deserve without any shame to expose ourselves, but to embrace ourselves in so many different ways with people's hand claps and with people's doubts unfortunately it doesn't make you less than a man it doesn't make you less than a woman if you are very comfortable in your body and you choose to express your freedom your liberation in so many different ways i am a free spirit and i choose to do anything i like anything i want to do and hopefully to have a peace of mind and if i don't have a peace of mind in it i know someday i will have a peace of mind of it it's just other people just might make you feel a certain type of way for a short period of time because they are uncomfortable with themselves or they have a certain type of standard or moral code with themselves and they expect it of other people who's to say who's right and who's wrong we only have to deal with those traumas because of what we want to say in biblical sense the garden of eden eating the fruit now we know that we are unclothed and now we know that we should put something on it made us think all these different ways and again through all the anointed ones they have came to us as we are no matter what we look like and what we're going through to let you know that everything is okay and still just walk in that faith um i think i said like i said i love to picture my whole body i am like super 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 kinky freaky in so many different ways um it's sometimes unbearable to explain to people so i can see why some people just go with this um i am i'm celibate people try to be celibate because they feel like like what they want and what they're looking for is off the radar and someone might look at them weird but they actually have social groups where it allows you to explore that that fantasy of satisfaction and pleasure and seduction and then still go work a regular nine to five job or a big government job or whatever the case may be these people are in high 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 class entities and they still level themselves and balance themselves with things that has been going on for such a long time which is just being free and not being forced to you know be someone they don't want to be um so yeah i drink i smoke i watch pornography i take pictures of my body i still cuss out young and old people because <clears throat> some of these youth is like out of hand but not cuss them out unless they're being rude but still try to correct them when you see wrong and tell them to be careful and be mindful um i still read the bible i'm learning more and more from the bible i listen to a lot of audio tapes um sometimes i do my reading personally but these audio tapes that are out there are even more helpful to my comprehension than just reading the book by myself i have struggled since i was younger to just read it because it just felt like a book which that's what it is it's a book of rules and guidance and listening to those higher entities that's in other realms if you believe in the spirit world if you believe in other dimensions it doesn't matter how you want to explain it it's it's just a part of our our physics our metaphysics it's just a part of science <clears throat> but it's a part of who we are that's why it's just a journey and we are able to make our choices every single day of how we want our journey to go clean or unclean 
I love pizza. I love steak and eggs. I still eat pork here and there. I do get a craving of it. I don't eat it every day, but I crave it sometimes. I crave some ribs. But again, there's parts of the <clears throat> of these animals that we should not eat because it's full of sickness and toxin and full of germs. And there's certain parts that are very clean and healthy. Um, again that's why it's important to cleanse detox fast it's important to do those things to regain your purity ask for forgiveness pray over your food if you're doing it you know because you have a lot of gratitude and gracious and you're righteous more than likely it probably wouldn't affect you that bad for a person that is very evil and commit a lot of crimes or commit a lot of sins as they continue to eat these things, they're just staying stable or still making their <clears throat> their characteristics really bad. Um, I think it's always a case by case. Everything doesn't affect everyone the same way. But eventually we do all fade away from this reality. And I really just wanted to make this video to just say that no matter how righteous or how holy than thou you may be or no matter what your calling is there's a lot of pastors and preachers that are really bad evil people but yet they stand in front of thousands and millions and hundreds of people preaching the word of god i don't know who your god is you don't know who my god or goddesses are um we all may be praying to the same person but we still do commit different acts so that at the end of the day will tell you who you're actually serving even if it's yourself no matter how you look at it we have the dna of the most high and it's important for us to still <clears throat> to still walk in such a graceful manner but a more a very respectable manner too many people because they try to criticize us but turn around and do the same thing so they're hypocrites like again why is it okay for a russian lady a europe lady to have sex for money or that's what they did to the strip clubs like they came into the strip clubs where it was we were selling a fantasy and not giving or selling our coochie but they came over here and did it and then they expected every other lady behind that to do the very same thing versus just selling them the sensation of you could have this but you can't have this and that you just get your money you go about your own way of course people always want a little bit more a little bit extra but that steals energy from people and it's replenishable energy but overall it still messes with someone mentally emotionally you know it messes with people financially that people try to bribe and give you these different type of gifts to get their way but that one moment they don't get their way they you know try to use it against you try to make you feel sad or bad <clears throat> don't allow those things to happen still stay on your ground you're still going to take a small impact of it but you can always bounce back from it my whole thing is that no matter what we go through we're always going to return back to this house it's many houses out there again you have people that's methodist you have people that i guess house of apostles i don't know you have people that is baptist you have people that are lutherans like it's so many different houses but i feel like at the end of the day we always turn back to these houses even if you think so or not unfortunately we don't have that many houses in the neighborhoods or in our hoods or in our trap areas but we should though um i know mafia people mob people that go to church they sell all these different drugs they sell guns shit they sell they do sex trafficking they do all these different things but they still go and they sit down with a priest because they know or they feel that they still need that covenant that blessing for their acts and there's some successful people and there's some people that have been put to prison there's some people that have been put to death there's some people that again are still living their best lives again it's about how you move who your who your group is and all of those things the reason why they have been so successful for a very long time i think it's just very important for us to stay very humble very grounded super spiritual and still pick up that book or listen to that book because every day it is a fight it like they say um racist in pretty quickly 
and then another race might come up but when you're in a marathon you're training year after year day after day you know to continue to do this for for quite a while until you get that that recognition that you're looking for to get that fame or that wealth that you're looking for so it's just to show and to go that no one is super 100 percent perfect um i would think i was saying also that some of these preachers and stuff they they are you know able to bless people in many different ways but yet they may go home and commit the worst crimes ever and no one will ever know because their representation to the world shows one thing but behind closed doors is a whole nother thing and that's why i'm coming out to be very vulnerable to say that I'm still, everybody's a good person. We are very lovely people. No matter if I have a short dress on, no matter if my titties are showing, at the end of the day, I'm still an anointed one. I am still working on how to better other people's lives. I'm still working on how to better my life. And I have always enjoyed speaking to the camera as I've gotten more comfortable but I've always had these self talks to myself. So, or with people with like minds. I feel like it's so important to do as much research on yourself and where you come from, but do research on where it all started, which it, I, it comes from the Bible, it comes from the science books. Like, there's so much hope and potential for all of us and it's never too late to tap into what your gift and what your talent is if it's doing skateboard tricks if it's writing a book if it's shoot giving people readings whatever it is feel comfortable in your skin um i don't think i'm going to change i'll still be a lady that tries to learn the bible but still take these very prerogative type of photos because i love the way that you could just be free in these lace clothings and like just so seductive but again it's in the most innocent form ever because a photo just says a thousand million words and you can say what you want out of it but when you truly meet me just because you saw me naked you would think that oh yeah she's easy she's green but i'm still feisty and i will still claw your eyes out no matter what you see on the internet whatever i don't play about my self-respect it doesn't make my respect go lower it doesn't make my worth go lower because you have seen the inside of me and the outside of me for people that have had sex with me whatever people have just seen regular photos of me it doesn't make me a fucking green light because you have seen me like that i'm still an individual i'm still a strong mixed breed lady that is still growing into a strong woman i'm still a lady that can bear child i'm still a lady that can take care of my family and my child because i came from a household that can do so i have people that want to impregnate me i'm not ready to be impregnated but i do want a child i do want a family later on and i'm not going to hide anything from them because everything that's done in the dark will still come to light and everything that's on social media they will probably still come across eventually so it's out there you can try to hide stuff from your children all you want but if you put it on social media you put it on tv they're going to see the the other side of you not the real you but the other side of you that likes to have this type of creativity so i'm just saying to me personally like even if I open the book, close the book, even if I take this sip, don't take this sip, even if I pick up that tobacco stick, no matter what the case may be, I'm still going to be this person's child, no matter what. And you are too. So believe in yourself that you came from the most high. Believe it. I mean, maybe the devil did make children with other people and y'all are his offspring. But if you're still out here doing righteous things, I mean, baby, he came from the most high, the most person too. So, what do you mean? You think just you're you supposed to be a hundred percent demon? No, you're still gonna be part angel. You're still gonna be part demon, no matter how you look at it. And to me, that's just your ego. To me, that's just your shadow side. To me, that's just your selfishness. Selfishness. To me, that's just a part of you that is greedy. You know, there's people that always want to be the center of attention, and 
it's okay to want to be the center of attention. You deserve center of attention because you are who you are. But sometimes enough is almost enough where you need to be closed in and just deal with yourself by yourself and not try to seek for other people's approval or acceptance. And that's something I never had to really worry about. I don't care who's at, who accept me, who don't accept me. I just never wanted to be alone. I don't like to be alone for too long. It is peaceful eventually, but I am a social bug. I like to see people smile, hear people laugh. It makes me happy to know that other people are happy. So I've always kind of put people before me because I felt like it mattered to serve people and no and it doesn't matter what industry even when it comes to adult industry like I was trying to serve but they wouldn't understand that though they wouldn't get that though but then they feel like they have ownership or titleship over you and that's not how it actually works if we should both be equally mutually respected and that's why again they come out with these contracts where you shouldn't cross these lines and you shouldn't cross that line so we try our best to go by that contract but hey it is what it is everyone does does everything differently and we are walking entities meaning we are walking businesses we are walking facilities we are walking tools we are walking encyclopedias we are the shit okay we're the bomb.com we are fine creatures we are strong powerful creatures this blood the healing that our body does our body heals on its own if we give it the proper nutrients or give it the time that it needs it heals itself without going to the doctors i'm all for the doctors why because they have put their lives to the side to research and study and pass these different exams just to help us but who knew who knew the fine lines that they didn't see where their hands felt tied behind their back and they felt like all their work that they did could possibly go down the drain if they don't do something a certain way it's sad it sucks but this is where empowerment comes in and this is where caring more about the people than this title and this position and the puppet masters serving the puppet masters come into play um to me there's always been a black and white and then when it came to not hurting one side or the other side and just making sure that the middle side was okay that's all that really mattered so i love this black white and then this gray area where we can create a void to just still please yourself or please another or please a client or entity or whatever you want to call it to be so that way both other sides win and then this person right here is satisfied too so this is me just being i guess open and vulnerable but then just just giving that word that some people actually really need to hear and more people need to put it out there their vulnerability um yeah it's going to create people that are good for your life and bad for your life but you just have to notice your red flags notice and know still it's like know your worth but know what you and how know what you want and know how you want to be treated and if people are not giving off that type of vibe then leave them be sometimes it's hard sometimes it's easy but we'll all work through it individually together however you want to put it so i found myself in certain situations that i thought i would do so much better in and i don't seen people go through some things and i'm like dang why is it so hard for them but again, their mindset is not my mindset. Their actions are not my actions. And their confidence is not my confidence, my self-esteem. So when you give and take, sometimes it's like you just already know how the consequences are going to go. Because you want something, the other person wants something, and there has to just be all this extra stuff in between. But when you start making everything on your own, and not saying on your own like nobody helped you but you just didn't accept or receive anything from no one except for what you wanted to i don't know really how to say that but it's like when you feel well accomplished and established without the help of manipulators that's when you feel like 
dang, you don't really need anyone in that sense. It's something I'm trying to say, but I can't even really get it out. But it's like, the best way I can put it is, say people do help you. They put cash in your pocket, this, that, and the third. Some people give and they don't expect anything back. Some people give and they're accepting some, they're expecting something back. But say if you want to go get a 9 to 5 or, you know, a fucking 12-hour shift continuously, that person that gives and doesn't expect anything back, you randomly gift them anything and everything because they was there at your most desperate needed time and they didn't expect anything. So you just feel almost obligated to shock them and surprise them to show your appreciation, your gratitude. But compared to that person that gave them was expecting something back, you might not return back to that person. Why? Because... You always expecting something back. So what do I need to come to you for? I now I don't need you. I don't need you anymore. You have served your purpose. You have served your point of being around me. So now I have leveled up and I don't need to come back to you. I might come back to you once um maybe I hit rock bottom or have to take a few steps back because I fell short on something and probably overspent or just didn't make enough that year or whatever now i'm coming back to you and i know i gotta expect that you're gonna want something from me because i want something from you okay cool we're doing favors for each other we can do that but once i get back up again i'm not coming back to you or well, hopefully i don't found someone even better or more people that is willing to give without expecting stuff back so now we're just gifting each other back and back and back and it's nothing but all love and positivity not saying oh yeah because i did this this one time now and i know that she's always going to give me a gift no i'm not even thinking about that because i'm on a they're on a higher level so they don't have to sit there and think about stuff like that they just get to put a smile on their face and say dang that's why i got you in my circle that's why i have you in my group because you end up doing things that i would least expect Versus you're doing things that I would expect. So it could be positive, it could be negative. But I'd rather stay on the most positive side ever. And it's not always going to be like that. I mean, it's like 8 billion people in the world. And you can't expect that all 8 billion people are the most angelic, positive people ever. They have they come with ego, they come with higher self. They come with doubt, and they come with, you know, confidence. So... We have to just understand that people have been through so much in their life. They use it as an excuse half the time. But then overall, they use it as a comfort zone just to continue to do what they do versus coming outside of their shell and experience something they never experienced before and seeing if that you know makes them better or sets them back or keeps them more playing field. I really hope that what I have discussed with y'all today was a big help. Um, I hope it has opened some people's eyes. The only reason why I opened up is this guy that's on YouTube. Um, I think his show was like The Basement or something. It came across my timeline. I listened to it like 10 minutes long. And he just opened up that how he would watch porn one night. And... You know, the next day, he's, like, sitting there giving a whole sermon. He felt pushed and pulled with the whole situation. But we are only human, and we have so many different sides to us, these fantasies that only we can create. But some people have already created for us. Um, some of us do not talk to our partners about how we can sexually be better pleased. That has to be a conversation amongst people because that's why people cheat so much because they feel like something can be better, something could be wetter. Normally it's going to turn to like a health factor, the reason why you're dry, you're wet, your dick is not hard enough, or you're just built the way that you're built. You know what I'm saying? Like tall, short, skinny, thick, whatever. So again, um, I can see why people want to get these dick enlargers and ladies want to lift their titties more perky, get their ass more fatter. Um, it's not going to change the fact that your breath might stink. It's not going to change the fact that your coochie is still dry. Um, it's not going to change the fact that you can't bear children. It's not going to change the fact that now your titties are not producing milk. Um, it's not going to change those things, but I guess it's 
going to meet whatever standards that they're looking for so i just hope that everyone kind of thinks a little bit more before doing certain things i try my best to um just always think about the the outcome of things um, my parents have raised me to always think about the consequences of my actions um not so much of my words but as i have gotten older i try to think about how these words may impact someone because our tongue is a powerful sword so it really hurts it feels like a knife has been jabbed into you when people say or write certain things to you but we just have to heal through it and um, hope people will respect you the way that makes you feel good and vice versa again you have dominant people you have submissive people so it just all depends on who the people are around you you have to learn those things but i hope that everyone continues having a lovely 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 week i know i'm going to continue to have a lovely week no matter what my challenges are this week and eventually hopefully i can cut some of the toxic people away you know as i grow as an individual or put more focus into my dreams and my realities that i want to create dreams are just visions of where you want to see your life going dreams are like where you probably have already been um dreams are like a movie that someone already kind of created and you can recreate them or it's just to try to remind you that something something's going on like something is going on and you just have to put your finger on it get stronger try to pay attention to the signs the clues the numbers and everything to stay as focused but in reality with whatever you think your reality is again everything could be burnt down and turned into dust even our bodies so nothing in this life actually lasts forever it can be swept away in water it can be swept away in fire so again that's why we just enjoy it while we have it and we make the best out of it so like i said i hope this video really helped someone it really helped me to kind of get off my chest and stay confident in yourself and in your skin be happy of who you are and don't let those doubters and evil people deter you from the path that you want to be on just try to be a lovely spirit as always and be authentic because i can tell you i should say some mean fucked up ass shit because after a while my patience my level just go whoo and now i'm just like this red firecracker like you want me to sit here and be all pretty and be like hmm, okay and i'm just like other side just wants to like get you get you together you know what i'm saying i can get you together but i choose to like not get my hands too dirty <sighs> so and then i look cute y'all i look cute i look cute <sighs> look cute in the camera that's why i'm being hesitant to like turn it off because i feel like i look cute i am cute i am pretty i am beautiful i am fierce i am strong i am brave i'm courageous i am everything that the next person is not and i'm smart i am brilliant i am intelligent not in all situations but i have purpose for intelligence and i have shown intelligence and sometimes you just have to tell yourself that there's no one's better than you so you make sure you look yourself in the mirror you look yourself in the camera recording not recording me you say i am the shit i am the one i am the best one that anyone could ever come across because that's true it's very true and don't give up on your hopes don't give up on your goals don't give up on your dreams of owning that salon don't give up your dreams of being a parent don't give up your dreams of opening up a retail store online brick and mortar to be honest we need more brick businesses online is great and lovely but be on don't like i said don't put all your eggs in a basket again these people with this silicon valley bank stuff it has affected a lot of people throughout the united states it has probably affected a lot of people outside the country with that being stated 
don't put all your eggs in one basket don't put all your money in one investment put it in different places you want multiple streams of income you have to put your money in multiple different industries and in multiple different people that is how you become very wealthy very successful a billionaire trillionaire and i'm working on those things myself but it's not easy yeah if you got the best fucking credit out there it should be fucking easy as fuck for you to go get a ten thousand dollar loan or to put together a grant or whatever you need and guess what just start building your business and finding you some real people that want to really make some money with you and that's what needs to happen they're taking down all of our cvs's that's very sad. I Even though I do not really agree with the pharmaceutical company, it is what it is. They are here and they're here to stay. They're going to cre keep creating those medications. They're going to keep doing science experiments. But the one thing that I know is that some of these people in this, in this earth, they still depend and need that medication. So I'm not okay with them closing down the CVS or closing down a Walmart that is giving our elders what they need to keep going, whatever they feel like they need to keep going. There are other avenues for them but since they've been doing it for so long it's not going to be that easy to change their mindset so at the end of the day give them what they need so they can keep thriving and surviving instead of taking it away and now they feel like that they're 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 nothing they can't do anything they're dying or whatever that is so fucked up and they're doing it in our neighborhoods getting rid of it and it's only up it's only up to the millennials it's only up to the gen x or gen z it's only up to you know the 80s babies to at the end of the day put back what they're taking away from us and then since it's ours we we have excuse me we have more control we have a, a lot more control than some type of foreigner some type of pioneer some type of colonizer coming in here building up our world and then when they ready when the time is right for them they take it down and break it down and now we're looking like what are we going to do what are we going to do is recreate what you already had that's what they said don't recreate the real the the will just keep the will going so now we don't have no more cvs now we could get a bvs i don't fucking know but at the end of the day we can make up whatever we need to make up to make sure that we're helping our seniors our elders and any other child that might need daily medication because they might have i don't know if you take medicine for autism or adhd or whatever 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 but we need those type of pharmaceutical companies still around because it's people that's depending on that for the people that's not depending on that high five you know what i'm saying that's good for us but for the most part we can't help that our grandparents and great great grandparents still rely on these things so if you've been paying attention some of the banks have been been taken down um, the fast food restaurants are booming. They're still all around, you know what I'm saying? Taking away our grocery stores just to put up fast food stuff. That's not good. That's not healthy. So where do we step in? They say get in where you can fit in. We step in and recreating those things that was helping our community thrive and survive, which is getting back those churches, putting up our own banks, getting our own pharmaceutical health stores. You know what I'm saying? Those are the things that I think about on a daily basis, that no matter what, that market is going to be huge for us. So I come up with a lot of different ideas, but I'm just one person. I cannot execute all of that. Eventually, I'll come across the group that will help me. But right now, all I can do is just make a video because these are the things that stress me out. All I can do is get my notebook and write out my stresses for the day. And I really do need to go back to just journaling every single day because it does help. And I need to do a whole bunch of other stuff. But take one time, take the day and take the time as it comes and just do what we can do but enjoy life and you know just stay so happy and grateful and try to be graceful um like move in elegance and be really diligent with things and people and stuff that we touch and things of that nature um everything is not for everybody but it's something out there for you so don't give up on yourself you don't have to tote guns you don't have to pop pills you don't have to do lean you don't have to drink alcohol to 
enhance your creativity so and challenge yourself challenge yourself to go a day without doing any of that and see how you act you might be a little feisty it's okay let that feisty out just let them know you didn't have your medication today and that's why i'm feisty but i'm still me and i'm still that kind loving bubbly person whatever 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 i remember i had a teacher like that all the time she was like don't fuck with me today y'all i did not do my i did not take my medication and one little thing that this one little thing of that oh yeah you're in trouble for the day you gotta get out of my class you're not passing this semester <laughs> basically she was going the fuck in but i respected that she was open and honest with us to tell us that hey i suffer from this that and the third and when i do not do this that and the third this is how i am this day like most people when they don't have their coffee you don't fuck with those people do you so you got to be mindful of the same thing just don't go around pushing people's buttons to see a reaction but push people buttons to see them grow as an individual so again i'm going to leave y'all with stay happy stay healthy and that comes from somebody's commercial shit and stay beautiful creatures y'all are beautiful black brown dark brown midnight brown purple brown black whatever you want to call it really really light skin really white caucasian european people italian people i'm just saying everybody is so beautiful and lovely some people are meant for poly life some people is meant for mono life all i'm saying is that get in where you fit in accept what you can get and fight for what you want to everything is always a little fight so i mean there's always a negotiation with something so just always try to negotiate so you you walk out a little bit more happier than before so i say peace i come in peace i stay in peace and sometimes i break the peace but overall my heart is big and it loves a lot and with with love, you can win anything and everything. So, our new tribe, all day, every day, our heart always wins. So, do it out of your heart and not out of this or not from this. But, we do what we do what we want. So, stay gorgeous. And until next time when I see you.